Here we have for sale our July 2023 on a 23 plate Volkswagen Transporter. This is the T6.1, so the facelifted sixth generation of the Volkswagen Transporter. This one is a T32, so 3.2 tons gross vehicle weight. And I'll explain why well, that's really important to any business customers watching a bit later on in the video and what differences that makes. This one has got the 2 litre TDI Euro 6 diesel engine producing 150 PS which is roughly 150 brake horsepower that is accompanied with the fantastic seven speed DSG automatic gearbox and this is the short wheelbase or L1 Highline which is the uh, factory specification combi which means it has got the second row of seats finished in the fantastic pure grey and what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around I'll show you the spec that you've got on a Volkswagen Transporter Highline Combi of this age there's a number of really nice factory optional extras on this particular example uh, and of course uh, a number of bits which have been further enhanced with ourselves here at Bregen Van Centre as well so we'll talk you through of course all of that we'll have a really close look at the condition uh, as I say seen as the vehicle is currently available for sale with us here at the time of recording so starting here then at the rear of the vehicle we can see that this one is specced with a rear glazed tailgate and this is as you would find the vast majority of factory highline combis they come with a glazed tailgate like this you can also spec them with barn doors which are two doors which open but one uh, rear tailgate is uh, what you would expect to see on the rear tailgate then we can see that this is a factory tailgate because it has got the heating elements in the glass and you've also got the factory rear wiper there as well and the first thing to note here then while we're looking at the back the first thing to note which has been added is the rear spoiler which of course ties in really nicely with the rest of the sporty styling which is on this particular van you can also see it has got the uh, gloss black rear badge which has been changed from its normal uh, chrome badge which would usually be there down below then you can also see that a nice carbon fiber rear bumper protector has been added uh, and that just I think completes a really nice looking rear end to the van and having a look at the condition here as well while we're while we're again looking at the tailgate you can see it's in fantastic order at the back there's really not anything to fault the condition is uh, pretty much spotless there at the back looking at the rear bumper as well the only thing I can fault here on the rear bumper there is uh, a little touch in just here very low down on the rear bumper just to the sort of left and just underneath this uh, parking sensor there uh, doesn't you know alter uh, anything with that parking sensor works absolutely fine uh, but that is certainly worth noting there just a little touch in uh, there on the rear bumper but otherwise nothing's a fault here it's in really really good order indeed rear parking sensors and front parking sensors come as standard on a highline model of this age have opening up the tailgate then and starting to have a look inside the back of the van we can see that this one is fully carpet lined on the side there is going to be some insulation behind here as well and also I've got a full suede headlining with extra spotlights as well so of course the van doesn't come like this from factory this has all been done uh, freshly uh, with uh, with ourselves uh, it just makes an absolutely massive difference into the back not only to the feel it sort of feels warmer and a bit more luxurious but also makes a big difference to the sound as well so when you're driving around uh, it certainly really helps uh, especially places like this on the wheel arches uh, it certainly really helps to deaden down the sound in the back of here have a look at the inside of the tailgate as well you can see that that has also been carpeted there you've got the uh, boot release button there and also this is the handle then to pull uh, to pull the tailgate down and this is the correct placement there of the toolkit a factory combi does come with this nice soft touch rubber flooring I don't know if you can see that there but there's a, a sort of a nice cushion there to the rear flooring and you can see there's also plenty of tie down points dotted around there in the back uh, if you've got any cargo that you're going to be putting in to stop it moving around continuing then down the driver's side of the vehicle and this is the first time looking down the driver's side of the vehicle and is there anything that you can tell any sort of eagle-eyed transporter uh, owners or uh, enthusiasts will tell straight away that there's another optional extra here and that is that this one has got twin side loading doors so as standard these vans come with one side loading door on the passenger side uh, but you can get uh, the factory optional extra of having twin side loading doors which then gives you a side loading door like this on the driver side of the vehicle now is a uh, a really good selling point for this particular van certainly one of the things that drew us to it when uh, when purchasing it uh, and i'll show you why in just a second 
Having a look at the wheels then, so these are a fantastic set of alloy wheels that have been added to this transporter here. Uh, the same going on my own uh, personal uh, combi that I have for you know for my family use. Uh, and this is the 20 inch gloss black Navis Twin 5 alloy wheels. Uh, I just think they're a beautiful alloy wheel. I think they sit really, really nicely. There's a slight sort of subtle dish to the wheel, uh, but I think a really good chunky design, uh, which just suits the transporter so, so well. While we're looking here as well, the vehicle has been uh, lowered on lowering springs by around 40 millimeters, and that just allows the van to sit that much nicer. Uh, it's still uh, it keeps its practicality so it's not so low uh, that you're going to get uh, sort of you know rubbing on the arches or you know any issues like that um, you know no issues on, uh, on on speed bumps here you've still got a nice sort of ground clearance underneath uh, but it certainly helps to uh, have the van sit a little bit nicer and those uh, wheels just fit in the arches a bit better as well sidebars and roof bars have also been added as well and again that just really helps with some continuity down the side of the van helps it uh, look that much uh, that much better there opening up the driver's side side loading door then this gives you a chance then to have a look inside the back of the van uh, and again there's another optional extra here and that is that this one has got the two plus the one rear seating configuration uh, so which allows you to operate these seats completely independently of each other so you can see this little tab just here give that a pull and that allows you to fold the double seat down in half and then this tab just here allows you to fold the single seat down in half but also you can then remove these seats so from that position you can remove the double or you can remove the single um, as they completely independently of each other so if you've got uh, you know maybe you just need four seats in it for the day uh, you can take that single seat out and maybe load something longer down on that side and of course the same applies uh, from this side as well so lots and lots of versatility from a factory combi like this and of course you can see here isofix compatibility across all three rear seats in the back the big um, benefit of having twin side loading doors um, is obviously that you can you know gain access from both sides on my own personal combi i only have a single side loading door i've got two young kids um, so if i've got one sat here one sat over there because of course they need to be separated um, you'll, you end up sort of climbing across past a child seat to get to this seat uh, so yeah certainly one bit of spec I wish I had on mine was a twin side loading door like this just it would make life that much easier to gain access and even if it's not kids even if it's adults getting in you're not climbing across to get to the far seat you can just gain access from both sides of the vehicle having a look at then down here looking at the step the floor it's all in fantastic condition so same with the seats the back of the seats here all the plastics inside here in absolutely brilliant condition uh, it's clearly been well well looked after into the front then again having a look at the step the driver's seat here this is in lovely condition as well and you've got the twin adjustable armrests which would come as standard on these this one is set up as a five seater so you've got the uh, the matching passenger seat uh, and it is completely matching so you have got all of the adjustability that you've got as the driver on the passenger seat so you've got backrest adjustability lumbar support you can of course slide it back and forth and you've got those same twin adjustable armrests as well there's another factory optional extra in here and that is that it has got cab carpet so again a much more sort of car like feel to this particular van and again really helps to deaden down sound here in the front another optional extra is that it's actually been specced with four keys um so yeah that is a, a that is an option that you can tick when you're specifying your brand new volkswagen transporter uh, and that is having four keys so yeah nice little touch there up on top of the driver's door then electric windows electric heated folding mirrors and that's how they operate there just by turning the dial to that position there and of course the other option there is the heated position just a little tip on transporters when you're walking away from the van if you hold down the lock button it will actually folding the mirrors as long as you've got uh, folding mirrors like this auto activated lights auto activated wipers leather multi-functioning steering wheel on the left hand side then you can see you've got adaptive cruise control there so using this button in the center you can actually set your distance to the car in front the front radar will pick up the car in front and you can adjust that accordingly on the right hand side then you've got your onboard computer controls there and then the volume on the left hand side as well 
9,604 miles recorded on uh, this van. And you can see it's all idling there correctly, no warning lights or anything like that on the dashboard. Up on top then, 12 volt socket just there uh, into the center. This fantastic screen, which as you can see here, gives you App Connect. You've also got DAB radio on here and you can connect, connect your phone to this via uh, Bluetooth as well. Another factory optional extra then is that this one has got heated front seats. So that doesn't come as standard on the Highline. So you've got heated front seats, air conditioning, heated rear glass, all of that comes as standard, of course. That fantastic seven speed DSG automatic gearbox. I rate this very, very highly. Uh, I think it's such a smooth gearbox, very responsive indeed. Over to the left-hand side, then, you can toggle your start, stop, on or off, and your parking sensors as well. And down in the center, then, two USB-Cs here and another 12-volt socket there to connect, of course, to the uh, screen and to charge your phone as needed. We'll continue to go around the outside of the van, but as, I say, as you can see here, beautiful condition around the outside of the van. Having a look at the... Uh, condition here of the door mirrors all absolutely spot on there's really not much i can fault on this other than maybe that little chip that, that little uh, touch in on the rear bumper but otherwise looking very very good another factory optional extra on this fan i think the last one I can't think of any more on this van, but uh, a really significant one nonetheless. I've mentioned many, many times in videos in the past, if uh, I was specifying my own uh, van, if I was ticking one, uh, you know, creating one on the configurator, the first option I'd be looking for are the LED headlights, which this one has got. Makes a massive, massive difference in lower light conditions. Unfortunately, the uh, standard headlights on transporters do have a reputation of being uh, very, very poor, uh, but these are uh, just the complete opposite. These are a brilliant, uh, bright LED headlight. Of course, you've got the benefit as well of the look of having the nice LED daytime running lights as well. But these are uh, uh, really, for me, a, a, a crucial optional extra and, 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 again, a big selling point for this fan. Something else which has been changed then, and that is the gloss black grills all on the front here. So not only is it the upper part as well with the, uh, with the badge, but it's also the lower... Uh, gloss black grills as well so these here surrounding the front fog lights and also behind the number plate there all of that has been changed for gloss black and then something else which has been added by us as part of the styling pack and that is the gloss black front splitter there as well have a look at the condition here at the front you're going to get a few little stone chips here or there a couple of tiny little stone chips which of course just been neatly touched in uh, but generally speaking there's not again as i've i don't want to sort of repeat myself but there's not really much else i can I can sort of fault on this. It's in beautiful condition uh, indeed. Hopefully the camera is conveying that accurately and sort of doing it justice. But the, yeah, condition body wise is, is very, very nice. It's absolutely clean and straight. There's no signs of any previous repairs. It's looking very, very nice. And I really think, uh, I'd love to get your thoughts and opinions, but I think the alloy wheels on this, certainly, certainly some of my favorites. And I think just uh, complement the van so well if i open up the side loading door then on the on the passenger side then just gives us another aspect of the seats from this angle you've actually got this little uh, uh, uh this little toggle just here which allows you to gain access there into the back also and then from this side the passenger door card step floor the original wallet is all in there it's that really is a very nice example so just to summarize then this is a july 2023 which tells us it's got manufacturer's warranty until july 2026 volkswagen transport is the t6.1 t32 now i did mention at the start of the video why that is important a t32 as a combi is still classed as a commercial vehicle so if you're a director of a business watching this and looking to buy this through your business that is important if you uh, were to get a t30 combi Technically speaking, for tax purposes, it's not classed as a commercial vehicle. So this is the one that will keep the accountant happy. If you're not a business user and you're watching this and think, well, what difference does that make to me? Well, it gives you um, a bigger weight capacity in the back of the van of what you can carry, but it also gives you bigger brakes as well. So on a, a T32, you do actually get uh, larger brakes on a T32. So uh, if, you, yeah, if, you're, if you're not looking for the tax benefits, there are some other changes there as well. But yeah, crucially for business uh, customers, does make a uh, does make a difference there. 2 litre TDI Euro 6 diesel engine, 150 brake horsepower, 7 speed DSG automatic gearbox, and it's the Highline DSG combi, finished in the fantastic pure grey, which is of course such a popular colour and works so well 
with the body styling which we can see here the van has been right through our own uh, van specialist workshop regen van care there will be details about what we've done to it in the advert as well so by all means uh, check that out and of course we're more than happy to run through that with you on the phone if you are looking to inquire on the van but the van is yeah absolutely ready to drive away immediately with a clean uh, bill of health as you can imagine with only 9,000 miles recorded but a fantastic factory specification on this van with LED headlights, twin side loading doors, two plus one rear seating, heated seats, cab carpet. It is a very, very attractive uh, proposition indeed. And of course, beautiful styling, beautiful condition, mileage, manufacturer's warranty. It really has got a lot going for it, this van. If you haven't seen it already, please head over to our website there, bridgeendvans.co.uk. And that's where you'll we'll find the uh, advert with the price description and the photography. We can take cars or vans in part exchange. We can deliver our vehicles nationwide and... Uh, we can also arrange finance at very competitive rates, whether that be for private individuals or for limited companies. Thank you very much for watching.